Well, folks, I just want to let you see my uh, rifle build. I got my 6.5 by 61 Super completed. This rifle originally was a 6.5 WSSM. Uh, I got it back from my gunsmith a couple days ago, just working on some loads now. Got the Atlas V8 bipod. Gonna like that a lot. Anyways, I'm pretty excited to uh, try out some new loads. Here's the load I got worked up. Six and a half by sixty-one super or seven by sixty-one sharp and hard. That's a parent cartridge. The uh quick loads is showing a cartridge overall length of three point one four five inches, showing fifty-five point two grains of hydrogen H4831 shortcut. I'm um, looking at a OBT of 1.557 which should hit the fifth node. I'm showing a uh, bullet velocity for 139 grain uh, Lapua Skenar at 2,935 feet per second. So I'll find out for sure when I uh, run it through my chronograph. But uh, one thing I'm pretty excited about is uh, I'm only showing a maximum chamber pressure of 46,000 818 PSI, which is a far cry from the 62,000 roughly PSI I was looking with my 6.5 WSSM. I'm burning uh, probably about 10 more grains of powder, but obviously I'm not, uh, I don't have such a short powder column. You can see the case. If I can zoom in on the, if I can get rid of this back one right here. If you're not familiar with the uh, 7x61 Sharp and Hard or the 7x61 Super, essentially the case was uh, developed in 1953 as a commercial cartridge. And truth be told, Remington came out with a 7mm Remington mag in 1962. Essentially, Remington 7mm mag duplicates the ballistics on this cartridge. So it is a belted magnum. And it should be a should be a real good shooter. I'm hope hopefully I'll uh, be able to come back with some results for you guys. One thing I did try is that wooden uh, bullet pointer. I don't know if you can see it too well in the video or not. Anyways, until then, um, we'll be talking to you guys later on.